been a member of Toastmasters for over two decades. She's a recipient of the Distinguished Toastmaster Award, which is the highest award that the Toastmasters organization bestows upon its members for excellence in communication and leadership. Actually, you have to earn it. <laughs> Dawn is currently serving as District 60's Program Quality Director. How much do you, do you really know about Toastmasters, <coughs> the organization? Dawn's presentation today will show you the different levels and help you understand how a club fits into the bigger picture. Everyone, please put your hands together for distinguished postmaster Don Frail. <laughs> Map of service to members. Don, you need this? joined Toastmasters, I had no idea that there was anything outside of my very own club. I had gone down to the main level in the office building where I had worked, and I walked into an auditorium, and there was about 20 people in the room. And to me, that's what the Toastmasters world was all about. But then one day, I realized that we were part of a massive organization. And when I began to really truly understand the different levels in the organization, I really felt as though I was part of something bigger, part of something greater and grander, and I began to feel very, very proud of the organization that I belong to. As a new Toastmasters Club, it is important for us to understand where do we fit into the big picture, and my objective today is to help share with you the map of service, a handout you have in front of you with all of the colors. Map of service to members is what the entire organization looks like. And I'm going to go through what I think are the most important levels in just a moment. But let me share with you how large our organization is. Currently, we are in 142 countries. So we are a global organization. There are about 350,000 members currently in Toastmasters. And millions and millions and millions of people have benefited from the program which was started in 1924 in the basement of a YMCA in Santa Ana, California. So here, today, we are a, much, a part of a much larger organization. So I'd love for you to understand, by the time I've done my presentation today, where do we fit exactly? Now, when you look at this map, the first thing that I would like you to notice is that the member is at the top of this grid. The single most important thing in any Toastmasters club in our entire organization is the member. We are a service organization and literally our organization chart is upside down. So you as an individual member of a Toastmasters club that is about to officially charter are at the top of an organization of 350,000 people. Everything exists underneath you as a member to support your goals, your growth, and what it is that you want to accomplish, as Shuba had read the mission statement at the beginning of our meeting. So every member is a member of a club. Our club is Applewood Achievers Toastmasters, and we have a variety of criteria that we need to adhere to as far as being a club in good standing, we need to be doing the education program, we need to hold meetings, we need to fulfill the mission of our club, and as long as we're doing that, life is good. But then there are clubs that are then grouped together into what's called an area. Area is the next level. Approximately four or five clubs will form together to be an area. And every area 
is assigned an area director. Now we actually have an area director in the room today. Some past area directors, but Curry and Thomas is actually an area director for Area 66. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. So mm -hmm. Curry is our area director. So there is a great opportunity in Toastmasters to really expand your leadership skills because it's not only a place where we learn to be good communicators, it's also a place where we learn to be great leaders as well. So outside the club, there are additional leadership opportunities. Then areas are grouped together to form divisions. Now we are a member of Division G and four or five Areas will be grouped together to form divisions. We have nine divisions in our district, which is the next layer. And every division is run by or, or coordinated by a division director. And that is an elected position. So at our annual conference once a year, we will elect division governors, nine of them. And then on top of this nine divisions, we have what's called the district. And it is the district that is where our geography includes, we are the westernmost border, so Highway 427 is our westernmost border, across Steeles Street, and then up into Peterborough, Uxbridge, Kawartha Lakes, down to Belleville, and then <coughs> all across the lake. So we have a geography of 11,000 square kilometers in our district. We have 211 clubs. We have almost 5,000 members in our district. And it's at the district level where there are also leadership opportunities. And that's where I have the honor to serve. So as program quality director, it is a position that is elected also at the district conference. So if you have any desire or dream or goal of really really amping up your leadership skills, like leadership training on steroids, get in at the district level, because there's where you learn all kinds of things that we don't necessarily learn and experience at the club level. Now there is the whole rest of the organization beyond that, but when we think about what's happening up to the district level, some things I'd like to share with you. We have our annual conference coming up April 13th and 14th, once a year, about 200 Toastmasters will get together and celebrate all of the great things that this organization has to offer. That's also where we'll have the International Speech Contest and the Evaluation Contest. So people can be in a contest and compete against not only other people, but also against themselves and really take your speaking skills to the next level. And this is also the opportunity where we have to hear from different speakers. And if you look on the District 60 website, you can see who all of the special speakers are that are coming to our conference. So my purpose today is to help you understand that there is outside of this room and these four walls, there is this massive organization that, in one sense, supports every single thing that you do. Everything you are trying to accomplish is all here to support and to help you. And I also want you to be aware that there is something outside the club. Because if you really truly want to be in a place where leaders are made, then Toastmasters International is absolutely the right place to do it. So hopefully you now have a sense that you are part of a much broader family. You have a sense of what this great organization is and can do for you. And I hope that as I have eulogized Toastmasters International and helped you understand the structure, that you are as proud of this organization as I am. Out of Toastmasters.